Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Wolf Warriors Motivation Morning Me- Morning Motivation Meditation. Uh, and uh, I'm your host, Benjamin Duvenek, of course, and today we are talking about motivation itself. So speaking of motivation, what is motivation? A lot of times people come to me and they say, I want to be more motivated. You know, you want to be more motivated. They want to uh, get a sense of motivation or they don't feel motivated. I understand that. Okay, cool. Well, so you don't feel motivated. I know the, and I can tell you the root of that problem uh, right now. And I'll tell you the solution. I'll tell you something that you can do. And I'll give you the hope and the, some, <laughs> some motivation and knowing that you have all that you need for this. But right now, I'm going to lay it down for you. So here it is. Motivation comes from hope. Okay, so where does motivation come from? It comes from hope, that's number one. Number two is that the hope is in you. So the Christ in you, the hope of glory, the Bible says. You haven't heard this before, look it up in your Bible. The Christ in you, the hope of glory. Now what does Christ in you mean? Okay, so what was Jesus' hope? Let's just go there real fast. Jesus' hope was the joy that was set before him. Because, the the Bible says, because of the joy that was set before him, he was able to endure the cross even until death. Because the joy. And what's the joy? Well, it's the hope. Okay, well, what's the hope? The Christ in you, the hope of glory. The Christ in you, the hope of glory. (laughs) Friends, I got to tell you something about this. I sound like a pastor sometimes. I I always catch myself like, hey, thank you. All right, friends. Like, it's like, okay, whatever. Um, but anyway, um, <laughs> uh-huh. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ literally translates to the anointed one, the anointed one in you, the Christ in you, the hope of glory. So the anointed self, okay, one within Christ, okay, Christ in you, the hope of glory, that anointed self meaning the one with Christ, the who you were created to be in Christ, is in, is in, is in, is in, in that, um, yeah. So, has been given a path, right? So the, the, the vision, the joy that was set before Jesus, so the Christ in you, the hope of glory, and the joy that's set before you is what brings ultimate motivation, okay? Motivation is hope. Motivation is hope. Friends, people are motivated by two things, to achieve something or something that, or to avoid something, okay? So if you want to achieve something, you know, what is that? We want to, that's what we really want to focus on. It's the things that you want to achieve. Why? Because Jesus said, come follow me. He said, come, keep coming, stay present and keep going. There is a mission, there is a vision that I've given unto you. He said, I don't do anything that I don't see my Father do in heaven. It's the Christ in you, the hope of glory, the anointed self that has a path and a vision given from God and a purpose, as they say. So purpose, but purpose meaning your path, you have a vision, okay? There's some steps that you were to take. Many are the plans, but here's the, here's, so here's the thing, the step that you can take today. You can develop plans. Okay, I'm very big proponent of developing plans because you with no plan is being tossed to and fro by the wind. Like the, the spirit is like the wind tossed to and fro. Jesus had a plan and he was not tossed to and fro by the Holy Spirit. Could have been. He would have looked like a crazy man, but he had a plan. He had a plan and, he, and, then, he, so, and then he walked it out, right? And then God directed his steps. So his father directed his steps. I don't do anything that I don't see my father do in heaven. Many are the plans of a man, but God directs his steps. So you want to know where motivation comes from. The true motivation that Christ desires for you to have is the joy that's set before you. He's telling you, don't worry about anything. Don't worry about what you want to avoid. So people are, like I mentioned earlier, it, we're, 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 we're motivated by two things. One, the things that we want to achieve. The other is what we want to avoid. We are not to focus on what we want to avoid. This is not about avoiding anything. This, this is about achieving the victory, okay? That's what this is about. This is about achieving the victory in in the way that you've been called to do that, okay? So first create plans, 
Okay, plans will get you motivated because they're grounded in their spirit and in truth with you. Okay, and then allow, bring those plans to God and it will direct your steps. It's that simple. Now, it's not easy because you weren't taught to do this and I wasn't taught to do this and it's, it's not holistic in nature and it's like, oh, well, my career you mean? Well, life's a little bit bigger than just your career. Would you agree? I agree. Thank you. So, but at the end of the day, the reality is it's true. And so the Christ in you, the hope of glory. So you have all what it takes to be motivated. It takes getting with God, just figuring out what that plan is for you right now in spirit and in truth. And then allowing God to direct your steps in that. And that will be the joy set before you. The plan is the joy set before you. The directing the steps is the joy set before you. And, and then he will give the desires unto your heart. You see? And that will funnel the joy. And it will keep the motivation rolling. That's how motive, motive, you can just think of automotive. It moves. Motivation moves. Okay? It's a movement. It's a movement. Engine of joy Hope, joy set before you, endure the cross, endure the pain, move it forward, moving forward, moving forward, moving forward, moving forward, building momentum, building momentum, building momentum. That's how it works. So you want to be motivated? Define the joy set before you and you will have the hope of glory, the Christ, the Christ in you, the hope of glory flourish. Does that make sense? Those two things work hand in hand. The Christ in you, the hope of glory and the joy set before you. Christ was already Christ, you know? He kind of had it 100% Jesus, I'm talking about. So, but you now have the Christ inside of you. Now you've got to get in attunement to that in accompaniment with this joy set before you. Does that make sense? Christ in you, the hope of glory, the joy set before you, endure the cross even until death, endure your cross even until death, and make it, and make it rain here, bro, sister. That makes sense? I hope it makes sense. You guys are blessed. God bless you. Hope you have a beautiful day and that this motivates you to define that joy set before you and the Christ in you and to get in attunement with Christ in you, the hope of glory. God bless you. Have a beautiful rest of your day.